Good morning, everybody. This is Tim at Mayberry Farm. It's, uh, what the heck is today? February, uh, 27th, 2022. And we're going to start tearing this Model B apart. We're going to rebuild it. Not the whole tractor, just the engine. Um, this engine is a 1943, or the whole tractor is. I do have the VIN number for it. Um, I don't know if I've got it stamped here on the housing. I do. So the serial number, when I got this, I had the tag handed to me. And, uh, but it's 147, I believe it's 828. I got to look, though. It's hard to say. Get a little light on the situation. So, yeah, that right there. I can't hear you guys can see it, maybe. There we go. So, yeah, a little bit of reflection there, but 147828, that's the VIN number. Breaks down to 1943. So it was made during World War II. And consequently, there's nobody home. Um, get that light off so I can have two hands. There's nobody home up here. You know, every gear works in this. But there's nobody home up here at all. Not even a fork or nothing. So... They took fifth and sixth gear out of this because I'm sure it was on steel when it was from the factory. And after the war, they put a regular set of rims onto it, so which is kind of handy. And you can see the front was on steel also because they got cutoffs. They've been welded on. So anyway, that makes it where I get frigged up ordering parts a lot of times. You know, it's got rubber tires, so you order the seals for the rubber tire and stuff, and you should be ordering them for a steel wheel. But anyway, it is what it is. That's where I get frigged up there. But we're going to take these cultivators off today, and don't take more than a half hour or so to take these off. And I'll be putting them over in the corner over there. Um, and we're going to do complete disassembly today we're going to get back to where we get the block off so we'll have the crankcase opened up here and I'm still debating on whether I'm going to pull the crank or not you know when you pull the crankshaft I mean it's a little more entailed a little more work not bad um, I've never had to crank out of this I have had the pistons out and put rings on it I believe did that, uh, oh Jesus, two or three years ago, I put rings in it, but it didn't help. It burns oil bad. And it's got probably, oh, 60 thousands wear on the cylinders. It's got quite a bit. So basically what I got to do is take the uh, block and run the boring bar through it and see where it cleans up. And if it cleans up at, you know, 75 thousandths or so, then I'll buy the 90 over pistons, even though they're more money. Um, I'm a firm believer in not taking out extra cast iron. Um, you can always sleeve them, I suppose, but, you know, why would you throw away a rebuild? It's been 80 years getting to this one, you know. It'll probably never get another rebuild, but it's just one of the quirky things, you know. I, I can't stand throwing away cast iron just for the sake of saying I got more power than you, you know, it's a John Deere B, what more can I say, you know, it's 16, 18 horsepower, I don't know what it is, might be 20, I don't know, they're not much, I don't even know, it's... yeah, I don't know how many horsepower this is, I forget, they're not as much as you'd think, um, I think they're around 18 or so, but anyway, they do a good job, real good cultivating tractor. So yeah, so I'm not gonna film it, but I'm gonna take, loosen these four bolts, take that chain off. I'm gonna pick these off just for the ease of walking around the tractor. Take these two lift arms off, cause that just makes it easy to handle. And unbolt these two front braces, two bolts there. I'll pick them off. Of course, I'll take these couple of 
cultivated tines off for us just because you know they weigh 20 pounds a piece and uh, we'll grab that dindy and i'll lug it over in the corner so i'll bring you back when i get this stuff off well as you can see we got the cultivators off in it. it makes it easier to work i have taken the steering wheel off which i've had that off a lot of times so and we are getting ready to pick up yeah, don't look too bad in there. Drying the cork leg though, not a bit of liquid in it. That's why it stares so hard. So we might have to remedy that with some seals in here because it doesn't matter what you put in here for lubricant, it runs right out. Um, anyway, typical John Deere. So we'll put that in there. Let's we'll see if we can get the steering shaft out. I'm just setting everything in that front medallion. That way I know where it is. And then just turn the steering wheel, she's coming right out of the shaft. Uh, yeah, she's out by the sector, so we can tap it with something. Guys are focused in there, but guess I should have sprayed some lubricant on that before I started. this on the other side, I guess. As you can see, there wasn't much grease in there. So, yeah. We'll probably do something with that sector and see if we can't seal it. Because they don't steer good. Um, next thing I'm going to do is take the two front side covers off. I'll undo the back cover here. I'll have to undo this rod for your shutters. Because this does have... Does this have a set of shutters? No, it does not. 
But the rod is there, I think. Maybe the rod is not there. Yeah, the rod is there. Yeah. So to get these two pieces apart, you have to unhook that rod. I guess I'll take the mag off next so I can get in there with my wrenches. There's a jam nut right here. You loosen this jam nut and then you can screw that rod right off because that rod just goes out. And well, I'll show it to you after we get it off. It's real simple. It just goes out into a rocker here with a big slot in it. Anyway, um, yeah. So we're gonna do some unbolting of this, unbolting of this, take these two side covers off. Just a couple of bolts in there. And I'll bring you back when I get the hood and everything lifted off in it. Yeah, so everything's straightforward. I've got a lot of stuff off. We get the front side covers off. And uh, I've unbolted this and pulled it back. That's a 5 8 nut right there, jam nut. And uh, yeah, we'll see here if we can't just uh, get that loose. like that so the jam nuts loose but now I have to take a pair of pliers and hold the shaft which you should be able to get somewhere down in here and unscrew the whole thing right from it So you just unscrew that and uh, yeah, pretty simple. Almost looks like a saw cut right there, but I don't know what that is. But anyway, yeah, so now that that's unhooked, all I got's a, a line or two right here, the oil line in the uh, antifreeze right here, which I got to drain the antifreeze to get that off, which I can do pretty short order. I'll bring it back in a little bit. Yeah, so this plug right here, big old bull plug, I actually, I broke it loose, but not much. There we go. That right there will go into the bucket. Quite a heavy duty plug. You can still buy them. So, hopefully that'll hold that all. Huh, maybe not. I guess I better go upstairs and get another bucket. I'll bring you back in a little bit. Yeah, we'll see if we can get this hood off. Of course, the hood has to come off of the gas tank, so. Got a little bit of weight to it, not too bad. Okay, let's see, that's gonna go by there. Come right up. Starting to look a little better. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this top water tube off. Gotta take this fan shaft off also. Take off the air cleaner. Take off this tube. Take off the exhaust. And I'll be pretty well on my way to getting stuff done. Um, I'll bring you back in a little bit. I'm going to put these odd nuts and washers right back on the governor there. And then I won't, whoop, yeah, I'm going to lose it. Because these are a fairly large diameter nut, a 5 8 5 8 
wrench size for a 3 8 so we'll put them where they belong and uh, I kind of do that if I have odd stuff so anyway yeah the old pox that's still soft that's all it really matters so anyway yeah I'll bring you back in a little bit so this fan shaft on this tractor, I've never had this apart. Matter of fact, the only thing I've ever done on this tractor is had the head off of it. Um, that was to mill this manifold. And you can see it's got a broken ear, and this manifold's pretty well, pretty thin. I might actually buy a new one. Um, but yeah, so this fan, sometimes you can push them ahead to the radiator and get that gear out, and sometimes you can. And I'm not sure if this one here will come or not. Like I say, I've never had this, this tractor packed as much. So, let's see how far ahead this will go. Not very far. That's the radiator right there. So this won't come out. It's only got about a quarter of an inch of play. So there's two choices. I either loosen up the radiator, take the radiator off, which I probably will do that because I'm actually going to take the, like I say, I'm going to work on this front bolster. So I'm going to end up with all that stuff off and it's a lot easier to get to the bolts if the radiator's not there. So we might as well stop here and turn to punt for a minute. And get some of these bolts away here. Anyway, I'm gonna undo the few bolts down underneath the radiator here. I don't remember if there's, how many of them there actually is. I guess there's just two. Yeah, two bolts. So I'll pull them and uh, I'll get back to you. Well, as you see, there's nothing to it. Um, radiator's a little heavy. A John Deere A, I'd have probably lifted with a um, hoist, but that one is, I don't know if it's 100 pounds, but it's 70 or 80 probably. But anyway, yeah, now all this stuff here will start disassembling. And uh, yeah, come on, that one there, we might have to take it off, just leave it on the, the head till we get it off, but. Yeah, not much to it. Yeah, that has to go out the other way. But anyway, <clears throat> it, uh, right, come on. There we go. Yeah. So, we're down now where we can get this off because to get this off, you have to take these four bolts off and pick up off the studs. And the fan shaft won't let you do it. And... Anyway, yeah, we'll continue on the journey here. We're about ready to get it, get the head off, and yeah, we'll get back after it. Yeah, we've been working about three hours. Got all the studs out. They came out pretty dry. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I got to go on up and take Diesel out because he can't go up and down the stairs with his broken leg. But yeah, we're gaining. Got a lot of stuff packed. Get the uh, pile over there is growing. So anyway, this is going to be part one of this uh, 1943 John Deere B build. And uh, nothing fancy. We're not going to paint it all up prim and proper. We're just going to get it mechanically going. Um, it's burning oil. Nothing major. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow when we do the next one.